My name is Reverend Cheryl Harris, and I am delighted to share my reflections on Phyllis Wheatley and her baptism at the Old South Meeting House. Phyllis Wheatley was the first African-American woman to have her genius in speaking truth to power published in America. From the time that I was a young girl, I have loved poetry and I have been inspired by Phyllis Wheatley. As American Baptist clergy, her example fuels my courage to speak up, to speak out, and to do so without bitterness. In her eight-line poem on being brought from Africa to America, written 12 years after her arrival in the United States on the slave ship named Phyllis. She attests to her Christian faith while also calling out the disconnect of Christian slave owners and their rejection of the Africans as human beings like themselves. The short yet powerful poem reads thus. "'Twas mercy brought me from my pagan land, taught my benighted soul to understand that there's a God, that there's a savior too. Once I redemption neither sought nor knew, some view our sable race with scornful eye. Their color is a diabolic dye. Remember Christians, Negroes black as Cain may be refined and join the angelic train. Those last two lines, remember Christians, Negroes black as Cain may be refined and join the angelic train. 14 words, simple, clear, piercing. She acknowledges her understanding of how whites of her day saw her. And she acknowledges also the truth of how God sees her. Worthy, worthy of redemption, worthy of baptism. As a child of God, not less than, but beloved. It's an object lesson for us all to remember who we are and whose we are in a society that historically places black women as less worthy to be paid fairly, less worthy to be heard seriously, less worthy to be seen with dignity, and dare I say, less worthy to lead some churches. Wheatley stands to remind us that we are children of the Most High God. And thus we are endowed with gifts and talents that demand expression, not suppression. Her baptism, like my baptism, like your baptism, is the fount from which love, forgiveness, courage, and faith flow. We too, can acknowledge realities, harsh realities, without bitterness, and pursue those things that are more excellent, more lovely, for the benefit of ourselves and the wider community. And for all these things, I thank Phyllis Wheatley.